Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Themba Gorembo vs. Pete Rodriguez, which is a short notice for Pete Rodriguez. It was supposed to be somebody else. Kiefer Crosby. Crosby pulled out. Pete Rodriguez comes in. Now, this isn't a necessarily a great matchup. I think there's a bit of wildness now to this matchup because Pete Rodriguez is a he is a little chaotic, is a little raw with only six fight six fights. This is his seventh MMA fight. And you know, you might say that Pete Rodriguez has fought better competition in fighting Jack Delamandale, and I believe that was also on show notice. But either way, that fight he got finished. And it was a complete mismatch. Should never have been in there. And then he fights Mike Jackson and destroys Mike Jackson, but also, it's Mike Jackson. So, overall competition is definitely on Themba's side. You know, and Themba Gorimbo is 11-4, and 3-2 and two in his last five fights. Is 33 years old. 6'1 with a 77-inch reach. Fighting Pete Rodriguez, who's 5-1, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. 27 years old. 5'9 with a 73-inch reach. Uh, quite a bit taller. 4-inch reach advantage. Themba is absolutely should win this he's the more well-rounded fighter 11 wins like i said seven win seven finishes out of 11 wins four wins by decision or yep four wins by decision has been submitted twice twice has been finished by punches one time by dave mazani yeah i think that's how you'd say it was also finished in the amateur scene as well but again that doesn't mean anything was submitted by AJ Fletcher. AJ AJ Fletcher looked really, really good in that fight. Did come back and beat uh, Takashi Sato. Uh, I thought Sato was going to look a little bit better in that match and make that fight a little bit more competitive. He did not. But Pete Rodriguez again, early at least, has really nothing to lose in this and everything to gain. You know, with all the uh, the Rock helping him get a house, Themba's story, all these things is a great, great story. Pete Rodriguez has the chance to take that away and build his own legacy. Even if he makes even if he makes it all 15 minutes and makes it a close fight, he gains something out of this. This is a lose-lose situation for Garimbo. It doesn't really do anything for his career. He has everything to lose. Again, and at being 33 years old is not a great look, to be honest. So if he's slipping at all, at least within the first two and a half minutes. Uh, for Pete Rodriguez, I have Thembo Garimbo, Garimbo winning this matchup. But there is a contingency there that Pete Rodriguez has the power to put Thembo Garimbo's lights out. Do I think that's what he does? Probably doesn't. But he still has that X factor of he could turn that on early, not late, early. And get him out of there. But Thembo Grimbo probably wins this. Probably, I would assume, gets a submission win. Uh, probably a rear naked choke. But Thembo Grimbo will be your winner. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys are picking. Why you're picking them. Let's talk about it. Peace.